A Macon man died after a workplace accident at the Tractor Supply Distribution Center in South Bibb County. Coroner Leon Jones says it happened a little after 9 this morning on Tractor Drive. Jessica Chaw went to the scene. Yes, Macon Bibb Coroner Leon Jones says that the victim is a 55-year-old man. Jones said that 911 and the fire department were called. They found the man trapped between a gun safe and a forklift. Jones says that the man was moving the gun safe and the accident happened when he stopped. Looked like he was trying to adjust the safe or something of that nature and it fell and pinned him between the forklift and the safe. Uh, he was pronounced deceased by Deputy Coroner Lou Ann Stone. Jones says that the Occupational Safety and Health Administration is coming to help with this investigation. That's the federal agency that helps monitor workplace safety. Uh, Jessica Chow reporting. Jones says the family has not been contacted. We reached out to the tractor supply company for comment. They sent a statement saying they are deeply saddened by the tragic situation and the safety and security of their team is their top priority. As we told you, OSHA is the federal agency that investigates and supervises health and safety issues in the workplace. According to their website, they investigate more than 5,000 deaths on the job each year. That's about 15 a day nationwide. And about one out of five happen on construction sites. In the past couple of years, OSHA fined several companies for fatal accidents at Central Georgia work sites, including Nishiha, the Macon manufacturer, after a worker was crushed on a production line. Gilmer Warehouse in Macon after a woman was pinned between two giant paper rolls. C.W. Matthews, a contractor for the I-16, I-75 project, was fined after a construction worker fell over 30 feet from a scaffold. And the largest fine to Pearson Farm in Ford Valley, where a worker was hit in the head by a forklift. The company was given a $66,000 fine after investigators found more than a dozen safety violations.